that's good. That's good. Yeah. Thanks. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Uh, welcome everybody to you're gonna love this episode ten. Uh, my name is Adam Muscatel, as I often forget to say at the start of podcasts. Uh, and with me today uh, is my friend, uh, comedian. Uh, Bitmaster Extraordinaire. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe that's the official title that you you have. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Um, he does a lot of uh, the same free show that I do, uh, where anybody can come and put their name in a bucket, and he often puts his name in a bucket. It's always in that bucket. Yeah. If you uh, want to see my name around town, just check that bucket. Look in buckets for both of our names. I think <laughs> that's where you're going to find them more than anywhere else. Uh, Brian Rainstein is here. Thank you for having me. Very yeah. excited. Thanks for coming. Um, so uh, you haven't been on, but you are aware of the premise of You're Going to Love This because I just explained it to you. Yes. You, you've you given me the full explanation. I'm very excited. Yeah. I can now tell that you are a talented guitar player. I was I, I didn't know. No. He had the equipment, but I was like, can this guy play? He can play. It's kind of nice to uh, have people on who've never heard me play guitar, which is pretty much every guest that I've had so far. <laughs> um, and then only have them see me play right when I start recording, which is uh, pretty much every the way I do it every time. So I just like my recording. I like how yeah. I do this, I guess yeah, is all you're, I'm saying. You know, someone's got to say it. Might <laughs> as well be you. Uh, so Brian, uh, you're going to love this is a podcast where I try to write you the perfect song uh, every week. Um, quick recap of how it's gone so far. Um, of the nine podcasts that have come out, I am so far two of seven, which I am blown away by. The person said, that's the perfect song for me? Correct. It, wow. It, it's, that's pretty good. I agree, but it's also like... I. I kind of want to like immediately not agree with them as soon as they tell me that. That's with for both. I was very nice in the moment, and it's also how do you say no to somebody who's telling you a song is perfect? Yeah, yeah. But like in hindsight, it doesn't feel right to be on episode ten having like two wins in my back pocket. Honestly, it's like your podcast is like you're trying to find an like a needle in a haystack, right. and out of ten, you've gotten two. Right. And I say ten because this is the tenth one, and. You better bring it, dude. You better, Good. yeah. That's the attitude I want. I think. Good. I think Impress me. Both of the other two people had an attitude that was uh, very receptive, which is, you know, I'm I'm happy to have it. But at the same time, perfect is a word that is has a very specific meaning and is very mm -hmm. hard to achieve. There's very little that I would call perfect in the world at all. Yeah, I don't. I can't label too many things I've done as perfect. No. I, I think the key is, though, that it's, it's you know, right here. It's mm -hmm. the song that you need to hear right now. Okay. In um, that case, like, I'm an apologist through and through. I'll probably mm -hmm. enjoy it. Right. But will I think it's the perfect song for Brian Rainstein? Time will tell. Right. No, and that's perfect. That's... Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> uh. Your threshold for perfect is pretty low. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> that is what you want. It I'm is. giving it to you. Yeah, no, I, uh, last week Duncan came back on and kind of righted the course for me because it was actually seven and eight were the two perfect. So having Duncan come on and really just Ooh. set me right and tell me that. Keep you humble. Yeah, I, I needed, I needed an L, you know? I think mm -hmm. that's, it's, for me, uh, the perfect episode of You're Gonna Love This is me not getting a perfect song. Oh boy, we could get into that. Mm. How, how does that? What does that say about your psyche that you want to lose? You've, you've made a podcast to impress people, but your goal is to lose. Well, I think it's it's that it's you know if you get to the top of the mountain, mm -hmm. it's like you're there, and then like what now? You're just there. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah, there's you nothing... want it to be a climb. I do, and it felt like I was like, oh seven, wow, I can't believe I got one out of seven. That's amazing. And then eight, I was like. Oh, come on, did I crack? I couldn't have cracked the code this early. Yeah, that's that is interesting that it took you like I'm sure after six you were like, why why keep doing this? It's never gonna happen. And then two in a row. Well, I person I I wanted to go into this if I come out of this doing maybe a hundred episodes, never having gotten a perfect. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. Yeah. So I'm sitting pretty right now. If if literally for the re that would actually be amazing if I never got another <laughs> perfect ever again. Just keep listening to those two th songs. You're like, what did I do? How do I recapture that magic? <laughs> oh man, I uh, that would be a beautiful run. Mm -hmm. I would I would like a just kind of like <laughs> hundred loss for a while. That here. would mess with your brain so hard. Oh man. Um. Oh, segment that I do on this podcast as well. Uh, 
Uh, it's called You're Gonna Love This. Uh, in this segment, I tell you some music that I think you would like. Uh, sometimes it's specifically for the person. Sometimes it's just things that I've been enjoying. I think this week is more of things that I've been enjoying. Okay. Thing. Um, your song for this week is called Here Comes a Thought. It's from Steven Universe. I don't know if you've ever watched that show before. Very briefly, but uh-huh. I, I am into cartoons. I've, okay. I've seen like a couple episodes. Sure. I, it, if, if you want to watch the show, it's probably not a great idea to go and watch this like most recent song from the show. Okay. But also it's a great show. It's a fantastic song. That's so, what I hear. Yeah. I pulled my phone out and you're looking at me doing that because I'm typing this in. What's it yeah. called again? Here Comes a Thought. Here Comes a Thought. Yeah, it's by uh, Steven Universe uh, voice actress Estelle, uh, who plays one of the crystal gems, the protagonist of the show. She okay. plays Garnet. Um, she's this awesome black uh, R&B singer from England. And Damn. he's just so cool. Is just the coolest. Um, so, yeah, that's that section. I'll give that a shot. Yeah, all right. That was, that was effective. I think most of the time, uh, my guests, when I've confronted them with that segment... Uh, have seemed a little confused as to why this was happening and a little put upon that I was oh. giving them. Yeah, I don't know. I, it, you know, it's fine. I've, I sometimes don't introduce segments all that well. I'm not that interested in... No, I mean, uh, yeah. I was confused because it sounded like your segment was the same name as the podcast. Is that's that all, right? That is, yeah, this, that is right. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only confusing thing. I totally understood it and will listen to that song. Uh, oh, man. I... I love. I would love it if every segment is called "You're gonna love this," uh, uh, like number two, number three. I don't have any more segments so far, but I think when I add more segments, I, I would, I would love to name them all. You're gonna love this. Yeah. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. And then don't call attention to it, and then you'll see who like, who will, and what that says about them as far as guests go. I mean, there's a lot of enunciation I can do to, to mm. change it up. Like, you're gonna love this is mm-hmm. a different segment than you're gonna love this. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's a possible way. Or maybe capitalization I could... I mean, that's hard to convey on a podcast. Well, no, I think the way you say it, and then also if you sing it as opposed to say it, or say it in an accent, there's a million ways to do it. You're right. Okay, I could sing... (laughs) Like, you're gonna love this! Like a Liam Neeson version, and then it's like, uh, your daughter's been kidnapped, Uh, you can play them one song Uh to see if they'll release her. Long shot, what song would it be? Boom. Okay. How about I'm asking you that right now, and that's a segment. <laughs> okay, that's a new segment. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do, is I mess up, like, the status quo. Oh, hey, that, those are my favorite, uh, I like the chaotic forces that come into the, come into the area. So, uh, okay, so the question is, uh, your, your daughter's been kidnapped, mm-hmm. um, your name is Brian something, I know the character's name is Brian, I'm not talking about me. Right. Uh, Albanians have your daughter, mm-hmm. you can play them one song, if they love it. They'll release her. It can't be one that you're going to play. It's like a real oh, song. Oh, yeah. Man. Trying to get after the Albanian psyche is interesting. I was going to say, like, don't pick your favorite. Pick an Albanian hit or something like that. I'm thinking, like, a um, so, something in the metal genre is definitely where I'm going. It would either be that or, like, Euro Trash. And mm-hmm. I don't really know any Euro Trash bands, so that's not going to gonna work for me. Um, I'm going to go with, like, a, a, a Sigur Ross Oh, except I don't know any songs by Sigur Ross. I just know that that's a really cool Eastern European band name. Okay. That's not going to work. Well, um, I can ask the Albanians if that'll work. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. blanket Sigur Ross. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any Sigur Ross song. I'm on the phone with them now. Okay. Yep. No, oh. let her go. Oh, perfect. You nailed it. Great. Oh, that's the, that was the, the Sphinx's riddle right there. Yep. That was the answer. Mm-hmm. It was all there. Context clues were in the in the question, like with the Sphinx's riddle. Yeah, go back and re-listen to how I phrased it, and you'll understand why that, that worked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let's get into the actual <laughs> interview now. Uh, Good segment, though, right? Yeah, oh, all went great. Uh, I think that's definitely a keeper. Uh, I have had this attitude of just keep adding things in the podcast. Yeah. We'll see if that one gets added. Um, <laughs> I'll listen in next week. If not, I'll just go, all right, that's probably a good decision. Right. It's, it's you know, it'll either make you happy or make you uh, think that I'm kind of a smart guy. Yeah. So it's not a win-win for me. Right. You it know. was fun for me to come up with something, but yeah. was it the best, the perfect, you know, segment? And here we go back to this. I think it was. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> um, okay, Brian. Uh, the first question I usually like to ask my guest 
is uh, what's your emotional state kind of right now in the recent past? What's uh, what's been going on with Brian? Pretty like blah, blah. Not not too unhappy. Uh huh. Like pretty content. Kind of middle of the road. Middle of the road, like uh-huh. mid twenties. What am I doing? I'm all right. A L- little bit of malaise in there? Malaise. Not really regretting any decisions, but I'm just like, where is this all going? Right. When I look back on this, will these be the best years of my life? Is that weird? Mm. Yeah. No, I think you're asking yourself that question now is better than doing it in like high school. Because I think there's people that are like uh, wondering whether this is their heights then. And Yikes. That's, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was definitely not my heights oh, in high no. school. Yeah. I, I, I can't imagine the people that were on top in high school are still tippy top now. And if they are like, screw those people. Like, right. That sucks. That's like tippy top because they went to USC cause their dad knew somebody and now they're in like a business organization. Ugh, their dad. Come on. <sighs> Everybody's dad's always getting them into stuff. Yeah. Come on. All right. Uh, I keep saying, all right. Like I'm tired of you. Talking. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was the bitmaster general. And boy, do they get tired of me. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Uh, it, it's coming across that way. I can feel it. It's but okay. It's not, That's oh, how man. they all talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, con- uh, content, middle of the road, a little, little bit of malaise, um, some some hatred for those uh, top of the mountain fat cats. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. The 1%? <sighs> okay. Bring them down. Yeah. They're, get them maybe 2 3%. Yeah. Just, like, increase that number, mm-hmm. and that'll show them. Right. That they're not that number one anymore. That's, uh, that's statistics. That's statistics. Yeah. No, it's like, you know, everyone should be a cool person. I think everyone has mm-hmm. is born, and they can be cool, or they can be jerks. Right. And and a lot of people choose jerks. A lot of people choose jerks because it's easier. Right. Yeah, there's that, uh, there's some, some philosopher recent, I guess. I always say shit like that that kind of sounds smart, but is clearly not, because I don't remember the person that I'm trying to reference. You lead strong, and then you're like, ugh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> nothing. Um, but the thought sticks in my head. It's just mm-hmm. the, like, uh, annotation is not there. Um, but he was saying something along the lines of, like, we're, you know, everybody's got Hitler and Gandhi inside of them, and it's just the choices you make to feed either of those two things that kind of makes you who you are. Yeah, mm-hmm. that kind of makes sense doesn't really sound philosophical now that it's out he probably phrased it more interestingly yeah yours kind of sounds like a sitcom i'd love to watch though hitler and gandhi yeah oh man they're sharing an apartment in k-town i'd love to watch that yeah okay if they shared a studio that'd be some hijinks oh for sure they draw like a a a chalk line in the middle Mm -hmm. and uh hitler's like who ate my pastrami and gandhi's like you know it wasn't me i'm on a hunger strike that's, I think they probably do a hunger strike joke almost every episode. Yeah, you gotta go for it. Yeah. Uh, there. Oh, the problem with uh, you doing a studio is that you can't call any room Mein Lebensraum, mm. um, which is, I think, very important for this. Yeah. If I'm writing Hitler and Gandhi, best buds, MK, Tizzy. That's what it's called. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, if I'm writing Hitler and Gandhi, best buds, MK, Tizzy. Mm-hmm say it i'm just trying to get it hidden in the listener's mind so they start picking up on it start thinking about it wait kinda. you mean the hit show hitler and gandhi best buds and k tizzy yeah okay um when i'm writing hitler and gandhi best buds and k tizzy uh-huh. i have to have mine leaving's round and i gotta have gandhi hunger strike in every episode um and then his girlfriend keeps coming over yeah oh and there's gotta be braun and oh. gandhi's like does she have to be over all the time? This one. Jeez. There could be uh, uh, anima jokes also. Gandhi was a big uh, big anima. Did you know that about Gandhi? That's why I was like, huh? Yeah. No. Gandhi was a big believer in, uh, I th- think coffee enemas maybe was the thing. It was some substance that's not water that's uh, you don't want to put in your butt. Um, but Gandhi loved to do. I hope it was something as neutral as like coffee. It was, yeah, it was some, I, I think it was in some weird, like, kind of Quakery like, suppression of sexuality. I don't know. Whoa. Gandhi was a weird dude. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Cool dude, weird dude. Yeah. Yeah, Hitler's like, my girlfriend's over all the time, you're always putting coffee in your butt. <laughs> I don't complain about that. And then Gandhi's like, I brew uh, extra pot if you ever want some. And he's like, not in my butt. And then he tries it one episode, and he's like, nice. 
Uh, that's a great. That would be a good arc for Hitler. Is mm-hmm. kind of his growing acceptance of the coffee enema. I think that's so true to roommates. Like you think they're weird until you become like them. Right. Because they're doing things that are just they're interesting mm-hmm. or, or cool. Probably it's just you've never experienced it before. Yeah. Especially in this kind of fish out of water. T- we should move on from the okay. Hitler and Gandhi. I think Hitler now that and Gandhi, best buds and Kitsis, you mean? Yes. Okay. Uh, I mean it'll be, it'll be in the you know, it's in the mindscapes of everybody. We'll cut it out. It's out in the cloud. <laughs> we'll um, cut it out. <laughs> Uh, so, you're in an emotional space that's cool. I said that already. I'm cutting this out, too. Brian, uh, let's talk music. Let's do it. Um, I only have the ability to play my acoustic guitar and sing with my voice, which is, uh, a male, kind of middle-pitched voice. I'm familiar. Yeah. Uh, you've heard it before a couple yeah. times. Uh, I didn't sing during that initial part. Sometimes I do. Um, oh okay yeah it's kind of you know I, I just uh, I let the music take me where I want to go man you know? yeah great yeah and so uh, this time it took me to a place where I was a little lazier and didn't sing um, do you think that I can make a perfect song under those conditions is it possible oh yeah some of my favorite artists right now are just like a person and a guitar okay good yeah. Okay. Let's let's go over some. Wait. What you? What's your? What are you liking? Well, unfortunately for you right now, I'm thinking Julian Baker, and mm. uh, have you heard of her? No. Very good. Just had an album, I think, last year, but I just found out about it because I'm slow to things. Called sure. Sprained ankle. Okay. Uh, yeah. J U L I E N Baker. Okay. It's very good. Very messed up and like kind of depressing, but every song is very good. Okay, messed up and depressed. So, is would you say uh, that that messed up and depressing is is like the right kind of lane to be in to be a perfect song for you? I do love like songs that subject subject matter can be like as sad or messed up as possible, but like it's like a f- the the flow and melody is like kind of like I don't know, like droning or like not too sad, but just sort of like somber. I okay. like sad somber music, but then I also like. Poppy, not poppy, but like punky fun music. All right, yeah. What's what's some like punky fun? Just like a guitar guy in a guitar, or just like like straight up punk? Uh, uh, no, it could be stuff. a guy in a guitar. Like, yeah. I mean, I like Ben Folds. That's a guy in a piano it a is. lot. Yeah, similar. But um, let's see who who are dudes with guitars that I could listen to. Um, uh, Boney Vair is a dude with a guitar that I'm not a huge fan. Not of. A, not a big fan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's a good that I, that's a nice little connection. Mm-hmm. I think. Um, you know, I've, I've learned through this podcast and I haven't, uh, rectified it yet that I don't listen to new music. Um, oh, I don't, li- or at least I don't listen to like the guitar music that's new very okay. much anymore. Like Mumford and Sonsy type things rarely interest me. Um, yeah, th- there's that one Mumford and Sons video, Hopeless Wanderer that has uh, a bunch of the SNL boys. Uh, oh, that's great. Yeah, the, yeah, that yeah. one I've Will seen Forte's a lot. in that. Yeah, uh, I've seen that a lot. But that's mostly just to watch them. Uh-huh. Very little to do with the song. Um, well, listen, yeah. uh, you know, I love just a singer-songwriter, coffeehouse okay. style. I'm sure you can bring it in that front. That could be a perfect song. All right, okay. I think that can work. Um, let's uh let's dig into like lyrical stuff what's your what's your feelings on lyrics oh here's here's a question i have to ask every episode yeah uh former guest byron Wu, who you've met i believe maybe i believe so yeah um he on the second episode got upset uh when i said that sun was shining in the song but he noticed the clouds outside as he was hearing it um so, oh man! So, do you have a problem with lying in music? No. I guess is the question. Good. Lie to me. Great. Uh, that's what I want to do. Okay. Lying is more fun. Sure. Uh, if it would be, yeah. I and it was a, you know, I feel like I just take this cathartic moment every episode to shit on Byron and tell, think about how dumb that what criticism was. What an idiot! Was. Yeah. What a jerk, Byron. <sighs> no, man. you're probably, probably great, but you had a moment of just being a real jerk there. Yeah. Like the Hitler came out a little bit. You know, it's. I think people uh, really like... Some people are naturally just... I, not honest isn't the right word, but are okay with being critical of people, I think, or, or willing true. to go there. And so the people that aren't like that, Me. when you give them that permission... Ooh, do they go off? Oh, yeah. They'll tear you to shreds. Yeah. Listen, uh, episode five, little asterisk. This is a, if this was a comic book panel. Yeah. If, this, if I was doing You're Gonna Love This, the comic... It would say, see episode five. Okay. Uh, Tessa Archer, uh, right there. I will. 
I, I, I will go back through this back catalog. Oh, man. Yeah, that was a bad one. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, Brian. Mm. Um, uh, let's. How do you feel? Most of these singer-songwriter types aren't uh, rhyming too much. That's fine. No, you don't care about that? But, like, give me a rhyme or two. Yeah, throw some you rhymes get, in there. You don't have to rhyme every line. You don't have to do, like, A, B, A, B, or A, B, C, B, or any of that. But, like, does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like, give me a rhyme at least once. Yeah, I can give you at least. I can. I can give you at least one rhyme. One rhyme. I'm not I'm, even gonna write that down because I can just cover that. Yeah. I think that one. That one's just gonna come natch. Cool. I have a hard time not rhyming when I'm writing a song because it's hard to think of words sometimes, yeah. and it's easier to think of. You're like, what's? I have to rhyme it now. Right. I've narrowed it down to these words. I can't tell you how many pattern games I've ruined from rhyming instead of thinking, <laughs> like A to C again. Uh, it's yeah. Uh, it, it satisfies your monkey brain, but does very little else. Yeah. But but sometimes you need uh you need your monkey brain to be satisfied. Mm-hmm. That's what songs do. Yeah. Most they, of the time. They make you feel something. The yeah. monkey part of you feel it. No, I know <laughs> what you mean. Yeah, I say stuff about the monkey and lizard brain a lot, and I think it's just very. Are they separate brains? I don't. I don't really talk about <laughs> them like they are. I, okay. <laughs> I think lizard brain is probably the more act. I don't know if there's a more accurate term. No, I think we're more related to monkeys. <laughs> we're for sure more related okay. to monkeys. Uh, you know, I, I'm not a biologist. Hey, nobody said you were or that <laughs> I was. If someone told uh, me we were more related to lizards, I would believe them for a second before I was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. So you would. So give me give me this confrontation in real time here. Hey, Brian, did you know that actually humans are more related to lizards than anything else i go whoa and then i go wait what but for a second i'd be like whoa the the just did you know and prompting it with that kind of like here's some new knowledge aggressive confidence yeah. yeah yeah it's kind of that like uh it, the the listical version of of talking or not listical the up uh upworthy kind of just like mm-hmm. prompting you into it before you're even there like oh, yeah hey brian <laughs> Did you know what? that there's this new ancestor of humans that everybody's freaking out about? Wait, what? Oh, okay. It's lizards. Ah! I believe you! Right. <laughs> it, it, it I don't know why more people don't have an adopted that way of communication. Yeah. Well, I guess, like, news at night does, sort of. It's like, did yeah. you know that in the back of your fridge, you know, there's a, a piece of meat that's going to eat you? That happens. I think that happens a lot on, on those news channels. Yeah. Cancer things are usually said. Mm-hmm. Um, what? I just realized I've been talking for a while. Oh, boy. I Woo! think it's time for me to just write a song. I didn't get that much, but I think we had a good conversation. I had fun. Yeah. Um, sometimes the best songs... No, I'm going to take that back. I've never gotten a perfect when I've gone in with this kind of an attitude. <laughs> but... I'm going to have fun. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, okay, Brian. Uh, now we've got this section of the podcast. Uh, have you ever heard the song Cars by Gary Newman? I think so. Okay. Uh, you're about to hear it three times in a row. Okay. Uh, as both my uh, kind of musical stopwatch and as the uh, earplugs for you so that you don't hear me playing and writing a song. Okay. Um, does that sound that sounds, sounds fine to you? Sounds wonderful. Okay. That was the most uh, tepid reaction that I've had so far. Most people either are upset that this oh is going to happen. God. Who are you inviting on this podcast? Uh, you're, you know, you're just a nice, uh, you're a mellowed out guy. You okay. take things in stride. I think people like reacting uh, and uh, whether they just like to choose an opinion. Sometimes it's a very bad one. Okay. And, you know, who knows? Maybe you'll come out of this really hating it. So, I might. I yeah. may hate it. Uh, all right. We're going to be right back. Algorithm, 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 amen. I call to order the 123rd meeting of the Council of Watchers, Keepers of the Great One, Servants of the Almighty, Algorithm. Amen. I, I'm sorry if I'm a little, uh, uh, a little lagged. I went hiking this weekend and I'm just really, uh, I'm really tired, guys. I'm sorry. 
really sure. I'm, I'm also really tired. I was, I was hoping you guys would notice that I was tired. Oh, true. Listen, normally when I come to these meetings, I pull energy from you guys. I pull oh. a lot of energy from you guys, and I'm, I'm very tired as well. What did you guys do this weekend? Uh, Betty, would you like to go first? Oh, my weekend was exhausting. I had to go retrieve a cell phone that I lost at a water park two hours away. Quite a lot of time in traffic, quite the journey to go on. And it it really zapped me. I mean, I don't know, but I was on a 20 mile hike. I feel like that's kind of more energy spent. Mm -hmm. I don't want to... Whatever. Yeah. All right, but you you get up to some important stuff. You get real busy. Oh tired. yeah, yeah. Uh, my uncle died. Oh god. And I oh. had to I had to spend a week oh. doing a lot of, of funeral arrangements, and we Jeez. had a big fight with the family over the will and things. So I mean, we're still involved in it. Yeah. And, uh, it's just been it's been really hard for the whole family, and Did you have to- taking a lot of time. I like a lot of energy, so I'm oh, sorry I'm not, oh, I'm just really sorry oh, I'm not all yeah, in on this meeting. No, yeah. But I you didn't understand. have to, like, physically exhaust yourself, right? Well, I wasn't was, pallbearer. Okay, I should, I, I should have asked, I had that yeah. thought and I didn't ask. Oh, well, when, when I was driving back from the water park. <laughs> yes? It, it was. It was a disaster on the roads. There were two accidents. It took 45 minutes longer than I was oh. anticipating. Yeah, oh. Tell me about it. We, we, had to, we had to wait forever for them to, to get the body prepared. It, we were just waiting on it. It took a really long time. To, like over two hours longer. Mm. We just had to sit there and wait while the, all these other sad families around. You know what? A lot of S bends in the hike where you'd have to tack back and forth a lot, so it seems like you would. It was making like not a lot of progress. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah he, he left. He had a, a large estate, and well, he left it all to uh, his dog Pickles, and so we've just been. Uh, you know, then Pickles passed on to uh, my sister Nancy, who. I read, and then the dog just mysteriously died a couple. I was days gonna later say, I, it, did Nancy did Nancy find a will for the dog? She did actually. <laughs> you think that's a thing? You think I should bring that up with my lawyers? Oh uh, yeah. Discuss. I think discuss. I think someone's got to talk to you about oh, that. Oh god, just the, yeah. I'm so. I mean, let's just. Well, can we, you mind if we get well, this done with? I have to. I have to meet with uh, bet, my aunt. She's been. What a bad I hear the I voice hear of Alex. Voice of Alex. Oh, oh man. man. He is asking, he is us, asking us, us to complete tasks task that will not exhaust us, us like the tasks task we've task been asked to do before. To do before. Mm-hmm. He asks yes. us yes. to yes. simply yes. subscribe yes. to yes. You're Gonna yes. Love yes. This yes. Podcast yes. on iTunes yes. and SoundCloud. Yes. He asks he us to like and comment on the You're Gonna Love This Facebook page. And to make and sure to make rate sure and comment on, on everything you see about your gonna love this. That is what is asked of us from algorithm. Oh, man. I, I don't want to be rude. But that's the same. That You said it like there was going to be a new task, not the one that we get every time. Less exhausting. That was the same one. It's always that. I don't have to. I, guys, I really have to go after this. Yes, my aunt is, she's not doing well after her oh. husband died, and, you know, she has cancer as well, so oh, it's, been, on. it's been hard. So, all right, guys, uh, meeting adjourned. Algorithm. Algorithm. I shouldn't have brought up the high Algorithm. Algorithm. Oh, man. Oh, I just got a call. Oh. Oh, my sister Nancy. Uh, uh, keep it out of the meetings. Wait, what? No. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks for uh, having me back. Yeah. Uh, Thanks how... for not leaving me in the bathroom. I didn't. I didn't exit my apartment while you were in the bathroom. I stayed and I wrote a song. Why would you just say that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess because I was. 
curious as to if you'd leave me. Uh, you know, it would be an interesting trick to pull on somebody, pretend you're recording a podcast with them, and actually record a podcast with them, and then leave yeah. your opinion, and it's just foolishness. It would make no sense. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, I've got a song written for you. Uh, are you are you ready to hear it? Oh, wait, before I do that, uh, how did you enjoy your little Cars break with Gary Newman? Of course I knew what Cars was. Why did I say <laughs> I didn't know? Yeah. Um, I, I will say one thing before you play this song. Uh-huh. I was in there. I had a lot of time for self-reflection. Sure. And I feel like I was... Know, bad mouthing a lot of the previous guests to this podcast whenever you'd say something bad about hmm. I want to say you're all great if you're listening oh yeah uh, I'm I'm sorry I didn't mean any of that I was just I don't know I, I felt bad that they were making you feel bad so I, I reacted I get you. hey you, I'm, you're just an empathetic guy mm-hmm. you're, a, you're a nice guy and some of them have not been nice and uh, you're responding to that but I'm sure and they're great all around. Oh, everybody! I love everybody who's ever been on my podcast. I think that's clear. They're all my my best friends out here in LA for the most part. Um, which is kind of uh, I don't know if that's a, a good thing for your guest policy, but it's a good. It's been fun to start that way at the very least. Yeah, you know, might Nothing as well. wrong with that. No, I'm I'm not gonna get uh, Jerry Seinfeld. That's my dream guest, by the way, Jerry Seinfeld. Okay, shoot for the stars, kid. <laughs> God, I think uh, one day me and Jerry are going to sit down and I'm, that's going to be the first uh, perfect song after the hundred uh, in a row that I get wrong here. And he won't stop talking about it. Like every interview after that, he's like, you got to hear this song this kid wrote. It. Yeah. It's just like the best free press anybody's ever gotten for oh, anything. Yeah. It's, yeah. Anyway, um, instead of talking about that imaginary song for uh, a real guest on a very imaginary episode of my podcast, <laughs> uh, I'm going to play you a real song. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Listen right now, it's time for a tale. A tale of a broken man. At first you won't see, but in the end his fate is known. Nigel woke up on a Saturday He went to the Johns He went there to get his weekly croissants By the time he arrived at Johns He was livid to find All of his croissants were gone So he went outside, stubbing his toe on the sidewalk. After that, he caught his hand in his trunk's front door. Then he got rear-ended by a Toyota Yaris. The whiplash put him out of commission for weeks. Got hit with the piano in bed And right after that A hundred kilometer wide meteor Hit him right in the head Nigel, Nigel A broken man Physically broken What else do you think I mean? I loved that. Thank you. That was great. Uh, I I didn't quite. I started with morose as a as a uh-huh. thought, and then let that thought take me to something else. I will tell you now. Yeah. I would definitely like that is the type of music I was talking about. I would definitely listen to that. Okay. On the regs. Cool. I'm as glad it I nailed that. Started. I was thinking of a particular song by Spoon. It reminded me of. Really? What song um, did it remind you of by Spoon? It's I don't know. It's like 
Remember the weight of the world is a sound that we used to buy to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that one? I do know that song. Yeah. And I love that song. That is a great song. It it was just reminiscent. I don't think it, like, stole anything or was, like, derivative, but it was something I enjoyed, Mm -hmm. and I equated it to this. I love specific names like Nigel. I don't know any Nigels. I love that. Yeah. Um... Very, I got specific with some of these. One, uh, Toyota Yaris was the Yaris, best specific. I see yeah. so many Yaris driving around. I hate a Yaris. Uh, Yaris I love that. It's, um, so it's also, I'm feeling uh, an energy that I like, which is an energy of I'm giving good things initially because I'm going to say that that song wasn't perfect. Do you want me to wrap this up? Do you want me to finish up my. You thought? don't have to. You can keep thought. You can keep thoughting. I just, I'm just putting that energy out. Keep go. Ahead, go ahead. What else you got? What else do I got? Uh, yeah, I like that he's a physically broken man. It's a very <laughs> literal premise to a song. I thought that was funny. Yeah. I do love story songs. Right. So it's it's a story. I like. Here's it's, another. It's a thing. story in that it was just like a sequence of events. It was right, <laughs> but in the same way that like it's a song that I can hear every word and I can follow it uh-huh. as opposed to like a shins like loopy all over the place which i also enjoy but that's my bread and butter gotcha okay um i guess i'll ask myself hey brian mm-hmm. yeah was that the perfect song no <laughs> no it wasn't brian did you enjoy it a lot sure i did yeah. that was great really liked it for 10 minutes very good yeah. well crafted that's perfect song no that's that's a, that's right where i want to be every episode uh-huh. if every episode i just like and maybe the praise just went up a notch. It was like, was that was that a perfect song? No. Was that a really great song? Yes. Uh-huh. You know, that'd be fine. So it's, you build to that perfect one again and then find your way back down and up. I guess, yeah. I, I, I haven't thought about it as uh, getting sh- just destroyed afterwards, but there's something <laughs> good about, like, totally missing the mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, last week's was another good song, but uh, Duncan just felt... Uh, that was the bluest episode of my podcast, and he just felt uncomfortable even saying that he liked the song that I produced for him. Okay. Um, I wasn't sure if we could go blue. If you listen, I uh-huh. have not sworn once. Oh, should I have told you that you could? Probably not, because I sound like a saint. You sound like a great guy. Except for the Hitler jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, those, uh, I, I mainlined the Hitler stuff, I think. You took a lot of Gandhi. Uh, you know, it was, it was a That's joint... That's true. I was, was thinking about Gandhi, which is listen, maybe worse. <laughs> hey, we can be co- uh, creators of Hitler and Gandhi, best buddies in K to Z. Okay, we, we can share that credit. I figured we were, so yeah. I'm glad you're saying it out loud. I don't want to. I don't want there to be any uh, worry about that going forward mm-hmm. as we put this into development. I think <laughs> I've been actually uh, while you were in there and I was writing the song, I got a couple texts from my agent and manager. And, oh, yeah, it's all uh, it's in the pipeline. Wow. And it's kind of you know it's it's going. We'll get some meetings going pretty soon. That's great. I didn't yeah. want to say this, but I was in there writing the treatment for it for yeah. episode one oh, that's great and i wrote, wrote about half so you gotta finish it all right uh i can take that burden you wrote the hitler part and i gotta write gandhi or did you write gandhi uh all i wrote was a scene where gandhi was putting coffee up his butt and okay. hitler was making out with ava braun uh well that was basically the pitch that gave that was my <laughs> to, to network <laughs> it wasn't so much a treatment as it's something i wanted to see right it was kind of uh uh voyeuristic imagining of mm-hmm. of a, of a particular moment in time that you wish happened you're right uh well brian i'm glad i'm glad you like the song i'm glad you're not so uh easy with the word perfect that you consider it a perfect song because that's the kind of guest i want yeah and um, i've been lambasted before for using it because i'm a people pleaser mm-hmm. like no use that word when it's perfect there's yeah i think a lot of words uh nowadays have, have lost meaning mm-hmm. uh through overuse so I, th- I think perfect is Maybe an example of it. Maybe that's what I'm finding is that some people have a different association with the word perfect than the dictionary definition. Yeah. No, I think that's very true. Wow. Well, um, but I made you a song that you liked that uh, that I actually uh, liked better than I thought I would going into it. So. I liked it a lot. Does it have a name? Yeah. Um, uh, Broken Man, I guess we'll yeah, call it. Yeah, I think that's, that's the best name. Uh, yeah. I think that's the first time I've actually named a song. Ooh. Some, no, maybe that's a lie. Ah, maybe that's a total lie. Damn. Uh, well, Brian, um, thank you for being on. Uh, it's been a pleasure. So much fun. Thanks for yeah. having me. Uh, you got any things you want to plug? You, we just got done with uh, Augustash, which was a brilliant uh, uh, I, uh, endeavor. Endeavor, yeah, yeah. That's a good word. That's what I'll say. Yeah. I grew a mustache during the month of August, and I made three friends also do it. Yeah. Um, it was called August stash, but that's over, so... No you still got the, the beautiful stash, though. It's still here. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. I will plug a couple things, but that's cool. Please. One, Brian's faces. I draw uh, 
one face per day from anyone who requests a face from me. It's totally free. Don't offer to pay because I won't accept it. It's my one benevolent thing. Go to Brian's Faces, all one word with a Y and Brian on Instagram, uh, Facebook. It's Brian's Faces and Brian's Faces at gmail.com. Email mm-hmm. request. And then my other thing is in Westwood at a small theater called the Improv Space. I perform every Friday night at 8.30 with my team, Rascal. Come check us out. It's $5 at the door. It's very worth it. And that's about it. Awesome. Um, As for myself, I'll give the standard couple of plugs. Uh, Check out me on Twitter if you want to, but really there's no reason to because I rarely tweet there. Uh, At Mushkatel. Uh, which is my last name. Uh, that's Mosh Cat and the Spanish word for the, uh, with no spaces. Uh, you can follow my improv team at dadjokes, facebook.com slash dadjokescomedy and something like that on Instagram. Uh, if you want to get some updates on when I'll be performing. Um, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up. Yeah, I thought of two more plugs. Going to hop back in. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, BYOT was a show we mentioned. Yes. Come every, uh, Sunday at 5.30, yeah. put your name in that bucket. And uh, this po- for the first time, this podcast is going to be released the week that I'm recording it, so we can plug. Oh, and come yeah. this Sunday at 5.30, yeah. I'll be hosting it. The hosts are gone. They're letting me do it. I'm going to blow it to hell. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, it's the best. Uh, Brian has earned, he, he got his stripes as a Bitmaster General at BYOT. Thank you. Uh, I think that's where he got all of his uh, accolades. Thank you. He got a purple heart. I think I did. I think I do have a purple heart. I think purple heart is for when you uh, almost like uh, suffer a severe wound in combat. Yeah, that's um, what it was. Yeah. A lot of wounds. You got yeah, a lot of wounds up there on stage. Yeah, and I yeah. want to uh, also my improv team, Osito, follow them on Facebook. Just want to get that one in there. Please. Uh, I interrupted your plugs with, with bits. No, um, <laughs> I interrupted your podcast with bits, so it's all worth it. Uh, you know, that's... If, if, if there wasn't anybody here, it would just be me talking to no <laughs> true, one. True, true. That would be a bad... Every week, just me, like, thinking to myself what some... <laughs> imagining a person and what their favorite song might be. That would be... So a, much sadder than what you have going. Oh, God, that's a nightmare. <laughs> that would be so horrible to listen to. Oh, I would feel so bad just imagining you here alone doing that. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's so hard. I, I'm... Real quick, yeah. I've had to do a couple things where I've recorded by myself for this podcast, just very small things, and it's awful, it's hard Aww. to, like, be, I mean, it's just hard to, like, get yourself into, like, performance mode. It's so much easier to just, when your con- conversation is, you know... A two-way street. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. the sentence I was gonna say. I know. Um, I can see you mouthing it, and I just said it. Yep. Uh, that's all I needed to say. I <laughs> think. Uh, yeah, I think that's the end of our podcast uh, for this week. There's just a loud... Someone is dead. Someone maybe died. Uh, That's I don't know. Okay. If, I don't know if the mic picked it up, but if it did, uh, it might have scared you as much as it scared us. <laughs> um, Brian, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, Adam. Bye.